welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon Reignited! I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here on Frozen Altars, as you can plainly see. Last time, I conquered the hell out of the Yeti Boxing Challenge. Mmm! That felt good. This time, we have an egg to collect. Seems I've been going about it the wrong way. Oh, that is an easier jump. Huh. Well. I didn't even realize this is a fucking option. And if you had asked me... I would have said that that was impossible. Because they were, uh... Actually, I actually think this is slightly higher than that one is. Huh. I was overthinking it. Ooh. Happy birthday, Jasper. Don't worry, it's warmer than this wherever you're going. I don't think they had an icy hub world in the first one, did they? Maybe. It has been a while. Honestly, the ones that really stand out for me are the, uh, the desert area I apparently can't even remember the name of. Artisans and uh, Dreamweavers because of how balls to the wall crazy it was. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, there's pros and altars. Yeah! Feels good. Well, we need to leave frozen altars then since we finally gotten absolutely everything. But, uh. Yes. That means we have to bid adieu to the blessing of the Winter Fairies and Spyro's ability to breathe ice instead of fire. But the world needs us to take out the Sorceress. So let's go. We can always visit. You know, a couple of people have asked me if I plan to go on to the other Spyro games after this, and you know, I would love to, but uh, I'm really only set up to record PC games, and uh, they were never put out there, unfortunately. In fact, I don't know that the Legend of Spyro games ever got released on anything other than the PS2. You know, it's not like they did, they did uh, like, oh, it's the, it's the Legend of Spyro collection set. No, I don't know that they did that. I would happily play them if they did. I mean, for that matter, if they made a new Spyro game and put it out in BC, I would also happily play that. What am I doing? Yes, that's right. That's why I can't think of where I'm supposed to be going, because it's not here! Well, I guess I go to the fireworks factory now that I've got the monkey. Let's do that. I want to see if I can remember where that is. Yes! It was in here, actually! Oh, wow. See? I'm not totally unable to do that. Just mostly. Oh! I saw that! The ninjas jumped out of those box up there! Watch the box, watch the box. Aha! That's why they stopped showing up after a while. I must have trashed the boxes. Still, just the fact that they figured that trick out means that they're easily the, uh, the most intelligent uh, Rhinox we've seen yet. Hey, what if we just kept sending more dudes, huh? Fire in the hole! Actually, I guess you're only supposed to say that for explosives. Like that. Destroy the walket. I forgot about that. Right, thank you, my good dude. Charge! Oh, he had a gun. Right.
I should go in with full health. I don't even know that there will be any in there. Any fodders. I mean, I pitched my idea for a, uh, you know, Spyro 4, or I guess they did have a Spyro 4. Well, you know, I mean, a new Spyro game in this setting. You know, set it a few years after, uh, Spyro dealt with Nasty Nork, the, uh, Sorceress and Ripto. Show us what a spider, uh, spider, what a Spyro closer to uh, dragon maturity could do. Come on in, it's laser time, Agent Nine. Hey guys, I'm just inserting this here because, apropos of nothing, I want you to realize that even in the original graphics, uh, Agent Nine's craziness came through loud and clear. Hey, Spyro! I'm helping a kid named Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know I'm always ready to kick some Rhinoc booty! Oh my god, I just got what, what's what been itching at me every fucking time he opens his mouth. It's not the voice actor, it's the pr the attitude. It's like he's channeling Earthworm Jim from the 90s cartoon. I loved that cartoon as a kid. I was really into the wacky for the sake of wacky stuff. But I'm going to blame that on my parents for letting me watch, uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus before the age of ten. <laughs> Absurd. Just sort of worked its way into my brain. Okay. You're doomed. It's a first-person shooter! <laughs> A hundred in the corner! Oh my god, are you serious? Hi, Agent Nine. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right. Thanks, Handel. Wait. It's writing it like he has his sister's accent. Or not accent, uh, speech impediment. Well, unless it means you're dodging left and in the direction of uh, an un a restless spirit. That's what a white is. Defeat the ninjas to find the baby dragon egg. I feel like baby is kind of redundant there, but uh, address the Y button, enter sniper mode. Press the bumpers to zoom in and out while in sniper mode. Oh no, it's a strafing, not dodging. Oh, you count it anyway, I guess. Is Spark Sparks isn't with me, I've just got a hundred. I'm without my little buddy for the first time since this fucking trilogy started. Well, I guess you'll have to be my little buddy, uh, Mr. Laser Blaster. Okay, I know I give names to guns, but they are usually better than that one. Oh yeah, I don't have sparks. I have to touch the gems! Oh! You know, I actually wanted to mention, it's very strange that last- yeah, just yesterday I started playing a game called Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, sort of first-person adventure game where you shoot out bolts of energy in a, a sort of slower fashion than your standard FPS. And I'm actually kind of reminded by the weird sort of slightly floaty movement and the slow, you know, you can't just mash the button and shoot a million bolts at once, like that. Off you go, then. Wait for it. Wait for it now! They're not gonna stop. I can see the thing. This is just really funny to me. Alright, alright. Where 
Alright, use the trigger. How do I break the fucking spawn? Oh, I did have to just shoot it a bunch of times. Okay. Sorry, thought you were dead. Oh. Very strange collection of thoughts I'm having today. I haven't thought about Earthworm Jim since... Well, since they put out that teaser trailer to announce the reboot, actually. I mean, it doesn't look like it's leaning as far into the absurd as it used to, but it's still a fun character, so... I'm curious. Okay. Oh. Hang on a second. Uh, hmm. I was just trying to decide if they were applying the, uh, the percentages there, like going down to 75 from one hit. It's like, how many hits can I take normally? Hmm. All right, all right, I'll put you out of both of our misery. Oh. I mean, it's a very forgiving first-person shooter. No! Dropped in the ceiling or something? That's a thing ninjas are known for. I guess Sparks didn't come along because, it's like, hey, 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 changing genres once was in my contract. I'm not gonna change genres twice. <laughs> oh, I was starting to say there. Oh, they are in the ceiling. I'm starting to say, uh, I think this is only the second example we've encountered of someone who named a gun in-universe. The other one I can think of is, uh, it's, uh, Max Payne, when, uh, we were infiltrating a factory and found a note from some guy that mentioned that, no, 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 we overheard a conversation between two goons and one of them was talking about how he named his assault rifle Dick Justice. I mean, that just seemed like rhinoceroses to me. I'm not sure where the ox comes in. Maybe it's like rhin rhinoceros and croc? They did have pointy teeth, I think. I seem to remember that's what I thought earlier. Uh-oh. When I was playing Doom in the early 90s, you're going to have to try harder than that. Pew. Blam! You're dead! What am I thinking of? Oh yes, that's right. In the uh, it's a uh, Rocket Raccoon. Apparently, for a while in the comics, he try he uh, tried to force the catchphrase uh, "Blam, I've murdered you" to catch on, but none of his peers would go for it. We're not giving you a catchphrase just because you want a catchphrase. It has to be organic. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought he was green. It was just the lighting inside the door. 
Fucking make up your minds, man. Are you Rhinox or cats? Oh, right. Oh. Did you see that shit, little buddy? <laughs> You know, in fairness, Agent 9 seems like exactly the sort of person who would talk to his gun. I mean, and also people who aren't there, but, you know, let's not rag on the guy for being crazy. Plenty of people are crazy, and it doesn't affect their, uh, jobs. <laughs> At last. I mean, I could probably shoot it and it wouldn't do anything. I just wanted to circle it with a reticle. I actually had a comment on that subject. Yeah, we've been hearing about all these things that the eggs are resistant to. Uh, well, shout out to Elthwar, who mentions that Bianca is apparently a very powerful sorcerer, since with all of that resistance, she still transformed a dragon egg into a mammoth by accident. Uh, Elthwar also looked up how uh, Sadie looked in the original. Rather than, you know, a mammoth joke, it was a uh, brown-orange color and a pink bow, and she just flopped down after hatching. Uh, that same comment also meant is, uh, clarifies that a desert is a place that lacks rain, not a place that lacks water. So the label might still be accurate to the desert ruins. There are several sandy deserts board bordering the ocean in areas such as uh, Dirac Beach in Iran and then Amib Beach in southern Africa. Neat! I find that very interesting. But I also find... Oh, there's another egg after that. Hmm. Most of the way there, but not all of it. Welcome to the world, Patty! You are now in another castle. Oh no! Oh hey, and I get to fight my way back! You are still doomed. Okay, so I do get another one for this. They rebuilt the box! I really like that it has a damage state at all. In terms of graphics, I mean. Because that just means that, uh... They took the time to put that in for something you can only see damaged and not, you know, straight up destroyed in this level. Actually, I will clarify, I don't know that they did that in the original. Maybe that's just a uh, reignited thing. Oh! You know, not to nitpick, but if you guys really wanted to do a proper tribute to Doom, uh, this one bit should have had like a exaggeratedly squealy uh, guitar background uh, music section. Yes, yeah, that's the word. Backing music. You know, if it weren't for the fact that Spira Sparks normally follows Spiral... Spiral, for the love of God, if I could talk, it would be fine. Okay, from the top. If it weren't for the fact that Sparks normally follows Spyro and not Agent 9, I would think that the only reason he's getting health back when he approaches the butterflies is because he expects to. So like, yeah, that makes sense to me. I'll go up to the butterfly and get health. Never mind that the butterfly is still there because no one ate it. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, there's the timer. I gotta get through this. No! I guess that also makes sense, going off by one stage instead of full health. Circle strafing! Okay, I take it back. This is plenty metal. I didn't miss any gems on the way back. Oh, shit. I didn't see that guy there. That was bullshit. Yeah, I'll give you that. But the second one, that was nonsense. Standing still to show off. So close. This part. Uh... Oh. Thanks for rescuing me. You'd better look after this egg before the Rhinox try to blow that up, too. Happy birthday, Donovan. Oh, boy, aren't you better off? Yes! Thanks for helping me, Agent Nine. Those Rhinox never knew what hit him. My pleasure. That was actually pretty rad. That was a much better minigame than uh, the Yeti boxing. Oh yeah, look at that. It does translate the health into uh, dragonfly hits. Well, I can fix that pretty much immediately, so I'll just do that. Oh, there isn't one over here right now. Man, if they were that persistent out here with the boxes, that would be bullshit. I guess they just hate monkeys more. Okay. And with our friend restored to his normal complexion, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. Later. <laughs>